background, but it wasn't a bad desktop background, though. Kind of cool. Yeah, kind of clean. But we got, uh, speaking of desktop backgrounds, man, the background for uh, Battlefield is really nice. Uh huh. All right, well, let's go ahead and get it right here, man. Uh, not the best start right here for Silencio. I hope I'm saying that correctly right there. I mean, uh, that's, is that Spanish? It has to be Spanish. Oh! That's not like Spanish. Yeah, man, uh, I feel like the, the Hydrant has been, like, more of a, a flaw for uh, Pac-Man in this game than, uh, than an asset because he has just been getting hit by it every time uh, that forward air just knocks it out completely. He's been getting hit by the forward air and the Hydrant. Yeah, you don't want to play catch with Peach. All right, she can definitely uh, she can serve it up. Condition and serve it, but she can also take a beating as well, too. Okay, nice. That's yours. Playing hot potato. No serve. Goes for the forward smash on the fire hydrant. And this is where things can get kind of scary for Pac-Man. Pac-Man has a pretty long recovery system. And Peach, well, you know, she spends a lot of time off stage, so. Nice jab. Ooh, I like up. the use of the toad there. Nice. Unloads the toad on him. Okay, scooping up the grab. Uh, definitely a longer range than you're really used to, and that down smash is going to come out of nowhere. Uh... Jet is going to lose his first stock, despite a strong start. Yes. Quite unfortunate. Uses the apple, but then again, you know, going eye for eye to two for two. You cannot allow a character like Pac-Man to have the lead on you for too long because now you have to focus on getting around a lot of his setups. And look, that's exactly what Pac-Man wants. He wants the lead, and he wants to try to pinpoint which way you're going to go because he knows that, you know, you're just you're trying to bring it back on him. Right. That's a, really what a lot of his setups are kind of based around. I feel like uh, ooh, ooh, Silencio again? is getting a little bit more comfortable here. He's able to find a space, uh, get these forward air combos. Oh, okay, I don't know what he was doing there. Doing something wacky with the uh, the Hydrant plus the Trampoline. Okay, no up smash for you. I like that. He knows Peach likes to float around up there a little bit. Don't let him float for free. Yeah, Jen's, Jen's been utilizing the Toad a lot, too, just to try to counteract these projectiles. And he's getting like some mixed results here. Yes, sir. Oh, I love this. Ooh. Nice. Goes for the back. I love this. Okay. Yeah, the hydrant setups are really, really tricky here. Oh, wow. Did you yes, see that? That I was that beautiful. Coming. I knew it was coming. I was like, yo, I feel like nobody just, no Pac-Man just does back here like that and just sits for no reason. Like, there's a yeah, reason yeah. why he's just kind of kicking it. Yeah, he definitely set that hydrant up there for a reason. Man, that was just perfect spacing there. It was kind of unfortunate for uh, Jed that he happened to be in that spot. All right, well, let's see how he's going to try to bring this thing back. Dead 12, dead 1-2. Nice. Goes for the dare on the, uh, almost on the platform, excuse me, on the Hydra. Ooh, I oh. love, yeah, these grabs are really working out well because uh, Silencio's been, or uh, Jed's been throwing out a lot of spot dodge, and the grab is so slow that it actually beats spot dodge. Yeah, those grabs, they last, yeah. They last quite a bit of time. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, wow. just across the platform, goes for forward smash. Okay. Man. It started out, Jed like really looked like he was on top of him, but as soon as Silencio got like his space, he was just keeping him out. That's what and, you gotta uh, do. Kind of steamrolled, uh, steamrolled him at the end. Yeah, you know, I think he understands that like once you get the lead as Pac-Man, everything that Pac-Man does now is is revolved around your overextensions and where you're trying to be in order to punish me. Right. Pac-Man players are very well aware of what it is you're trying to do, and they have traps. <laughs> like I'm talking like trap, bro. They're like. Saw series traps, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to play you a game? You gotta go through a whole, like, sadistic obstacle course. Yeah, dude. Like, yo, you want to play a game game. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump right into game number two, ladies and gents. All right, starting this one off here Smashville. on a Smashville. That's right, man. Yeah, stage. smaller stage. We, we've seen this, uh, like, counter pick come out a lot against, uh, for characters who want to be in your face. Uh -huh. Like, we saw that with Law and with his wolf pick. Uh, this stage can definitely uh, do some favors for him, but at the same time, like, there's still just enough room for Pac-Man to set up those traps. Uh-oh. Okay, now he's going I like that. You gotta, you gotta be menacing off stage versus Pac-Man. Pac-Man players, they, they like to think that they can just recover from any distance away. Because of, uh, you know, just because of how their up special is, like, you know, comprised. Right. But as a character like Peach, who also spends a lot of time off stage, too, you just, you cannot allow them to recover for free. I mean, and even if she didn't want to go out there and go for 40, even just staying at the corner of the stage and just tossing out Nair before they snap would be right. enough right there. I mean, you do have to worry a little bit about the hitbox. Uh, be ready to attack, of course, but... Ooh, uh, damn, that grabs. Just scooping them up uh, from a lot of ranges that Jed's not expecting. Nice, gets the oh, back. Oh, he did the normal get up right into it. That hitbox act, uh, being active for a lot longer than he anticipated. 
Nice. Unloads the tote. Gets nothing. No punish. Double four smash in a row right here. He's, he's feeling himself. Silencio definitely about to silence my man Jed. 12 here. Jed really struggling here to find an opening. Goes for, again, the toad off of the fire hydrant. You know, I, I want to see more punish on the landings. That's okay. Nice. Took the words right out of my mouth. Figure yep. out which way he's trying to land to try to beat him to the punch. Or I guess in that case, the frying pan. Yeah, definitely a, a weak spot for Pac-Man is landing when he doesn't have the, uh, the hydrant on deck to cover himself. Oh, he got the stitch face here. Oh, okay. Did only get one hit, but that still uh, got net him some good percent. Uh huh. Nice, gets the near. He's backing off here. Good stuff. Galaga can't get anything off it though, but he's still able to find a couple areas of his own. Jed right there had the right idea. Goes for the punish. He's gonna use the, the toad as well too to kind of keep the fire hydrant out, but also stop Silence from just jumping in on him for free. He's just getting. A, I mean, this is like, this might be like a fighting game time. I mean, he's just getting so many jump ins for just nothing. Right. Ooh, okay. You lost to the toad once again. Nice. I love that. He threw the turn up up. Uh, it kind of baited Silencio into getting up and got hit right by the forward smash. And now Jed has the uh, has the stock advantage. Uh huh. But this back throw should take that second stock. And right. we are on last ones here for Jed. My goodness. Okay, he's going to back up here. Nice. Goes for the forward air. They're just abusing that hydrant every time it comes out. Uh oh. Yeah, that Hydra has definitely seen better days, that's for sure. Nice! Not to turn it back in, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but we're starting to see Jed 12 come alive a little bit. Ooh, there's the grab once again. You gotta oh. mash out of it. Oh, Mary Poppins. Okay. Right, we got turn up edge guards here. Gorgeous. Okay, nice. He's waiting at the ledge here. He's gonna try to stall this thing out exactly what you're supposed to do here. Man, he's getting assaulted by these turnips. He keeps like landing on the stage right where Peach can hit him. Uh huh. Nice. Oh, walks right into it. Gets double hit by the forward smash and hydrant. That was brutal. He just got painted right <laughs> into the blast zone from that. Oh man, what the heck? All right, man. What a. All right. This this could be Jed's game to turn it. Around. Jed might be short for Jedi. Yeah. That might might be. I mean, this, this might be some Jedi mind tricks we're seeing here. He will walk right into this forward smash. And, like, I feel like Jed's been kind of, like, figuring out, like, what moves he should be using on the hydrant, like, to, to knock it away instantly. Uh -huh. And, like, he found that forward smash right there at the end. I think that was, like, the strongest one with the with the, uh, the frying pan as far as damage goes. So he was able to knock it off in one hit. And uh, Pac-Man just wasn't expecting that. Oh! We have final destination is our uh, game three here. Uh huh. And I think this uh, this match definitely with the way Jet was playing certainly in his favor. This is how well he was punishing some of Silence those landings. But I will say though that he has quite a bit of room here in this game to kind of uh, you know set up shop. Not quite like what we've seen on Smash. Bros. Nice. Oh, I like that. Yeah, he kind of. It was kind of crazy how the hydrant interacted with the charging projectile. But he he knew that he was at least safe from the hydrant in that space that he was at. Most certainly. Okay, no cross up forward here that time. I like what Jedi or Jed 12 so jump on him, Jedi and I help. But oh. I, whatever, he's Jedi now. Look what my man Jedi has been going for, okay? The mind tricks are definitely on the line. He's tapped in here. I like that. Oh, we got oh. a bomb! Oh, the mind Jedi? Oh, okay. 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 No, yeah, okay. He's not a Jedi. Wow, he actually died from that up smash, though. I'm surprised that the bomb went right through the hydrant. Did you see that? Like, it didn't even blow up on it. Or maybe it just wasn't active before it actually becomes stationary. Or maybe there's a couple frames after it becomes stationary where it's still kind of. Invincible. Maybe. I don't know. Vulnerable, maybe? I don't know what maybe. the actual dynamics there of that hydrant is. All I know is that a man silent, so definitely lived a little bit longer than expected. That's for sure. And now he's, uh. Yeah. It's getting a nice comeback. It gets the key from all the way across stage. You think you're safe to get up, but he is on the other side with that charged uh, projectile. Yeah, he's been doing so much really, uh, just so so much good work. Obviously with the apple and just the bell that I think he wasn't quite expecting a the key there that time. But the key obviously a very strong combo finisher. Oh man, and again he's uh, he's putting these hydrants right in front of uh, in front of Jed here, and they're just getting forward smashed right into his face. Right. Oh, nice. Okay, try to read him. No job. Oh, was that job lock? I don't know if that would be a... Uh, I think he was actually looking for a job lock there right there at uh, that time. Or maybe he was just looking to possibly keep the combo going. And nonetheless, my man uh, Jet 12 still very much in his lead. Very comfortable lead, mind you. Nice. Man, that toad. Oh. Yeah, get oh, out of yeah. here. Get out of here, I feel like, like Jet's definitely become more aware of that grab option. Uh, his face gets moves a little bit more properly. I 
Alrighty, with this in mind right here, a bit of a hill to climb right here for a silence, so yeah, he's setting up his shot, but right here, Jetro seems to care not about that. You know that if you're sooner or later, you're going to have to approach. Nice, has the bell online. The catch it again. Oh! 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 If he got the double oh! forward smash! <laughs> oh! What the hell? So that hydrant, man, that water hitbox still works on the projectiles, so you can have the active stun hitbox from the bell. Oh and, my uh, Saved by the bell? What the heck? Oh, but man. <laughs> Jet oh, is no. still pushing forward a little bit. Okay, nice. Mary Poppins. We're live. Okay, just about to do it in. Nice. Tosses it back at him here. Has to turn up online. He's off stage, so not a good position for him to be in. At least not in this map. Oh, try to go for the down throw on the turn. I thought he actually would have went for Z drop. That would have been a little bit more sneaky. Oh, there you go. I like that. He's yes. still going to be living here, though. At least going to be uh, having an attempt on that to get back. Oh, he just jumped right into his arms there that time. And that's exactly what I wanted to see right there from Jet. Kind of hang out in the corner of the stage down there. Oh, he's going deep. Yeah, he's going to be able to sneak right under him. Oh, sets up shot. Nice gets the forward smash. There's okay. the hydrant. Yeah, this is looking good. Oh, no. Saved by the bell again. He's about to ring it. Oh, he threw it the wrong way, but he still gets the forward smash, and he's going to get the KO. Silencio. Oh, my. He said, sir, the bell, the bell wasn't even real, sir. That was just a bait. It was just a ruse, man. Wow. Wow. 